Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Um, just gonna remove the top, whatever nut that's called. I don't know. I don't know the names of everything, but I know how to work on the shit. Probably should have had some of my tools ready, I guess, but whatever. It is what it is. Use a presser wrench. I believe that's actually a 14, I want to say that is. Yeah, that's going to be a 14 mil on, on your Predator. I don't know if it's the same for the Hemi version. I'm sure it probably is, but I don't know. Get them off there right away. It's got push rods. Um, custom length push rods and lash caps, 1-3 rockers and had, I took the head to local machine shop here to a guy that I, I I don't know if he passed away or what, he is a real nice old man and he was doing some of the valve work and stuff for me but now I don't I don't know what happened to him hopefully he's alright I heard he is in bad health but I don't know what happened he's it's no longer around god damn it I know it's a 12 mil just can't find one sitting here um, But, like I was saying, he was a nice guy. Did really, really good work. Did a lot of motorcycle work. And when I came in there with the one of these projects, this head in particular, he was real, real happy to take on the project and put in some oversized valves and, I don't know, flat face valves and lapped them in there real good and sealed it up real nice and I was real happy with that but I just yeah, his doors are never open no more and I don't know I don't know what happened and hopefully he's all right And there's that. Yeah, she was running a little rich, maybe at best. I don't know. I think I ran like a raped ape on the jetting and everything that I had it. I mean, I tested the shit out of it, but. I mean, tuning and tuning and tuning and trial and error, days in, days out, eventually came up with the jetting that I was happy with and 
pulled power all the way through and I don't know I can't complain with that but just the overall looks everything it looks like it was running a little rich at best well there's that there and I guess I could probably pull the side cover and I got those towels angled underneath it just to where it's leaning this way just a little bit that way there's always seems to be a little oil left over in them even after you've drained them for I don't know 20 minutes or whatever however long you've done it for there always seems to be a little oil left over in there so there's that side cover gasket wasn't leaking at all looks pretty good pull the cam right out you pull the cam out you got your lifters that you pulled out of there and then those two you can pull out of the bottom some people like to keep them in order of where they were and put them back the way they were but I don't know, they're still looking pretty good. No crazy cracks or defects or anything, so. They're all good. I don't know. They're just stock anyway, so. Never, never really had any of those fail. We've sent, we've windowed blocks on these things. We've sent, we've sent push rods back up through the head and. I mean, just completely destroyed motors. We've dropped valves and destroyed pistons. I mean, heads, everything. I mean, we have just single-handedly destroyed these things. I mean, in every way, shape, and form possible. And one buddy actually just dropped a, a valve guide the other day. And that was pretty catastrophic. I got some, I believe I got some video. Yeah, I got some video of that. So, um, on this motor, governor's been removed, oil sensor's been removed, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Just a flat top, um, it, it didn't, it didn't come with the motor, I don't know, I just play with these things. I've built a bunch of Frankenstein motors and weird stuff like that. Um. GX160 there motor with a uh, as a clone head is just what I had at the time, but as a clone head and um, one of the older clones. I don't even know what version it was to be honest with you. Um, it's got the 390 carb with adapter. I mean, it's fully built internally also and on the one three rockers basically the same setup as this thing except um yeah i guess just the cc of the motor that's about the only difference we got some different plans for this one this year we'll see how it does hopefully it does better in a 1050 i mean i was happy with the 1050 don't get me wrong i got a got the little time slip here um, my reaction time sucks because I'm slow at everything. Um, 60 foot wasn't too shabby. 59 mile an hour. It, it regularly, this motor regularly topped out right around the 60 mile an hour mark at the track. Um, which was respectable for what it is I mean there's a lot of guys out there not running close to what I'm running with seems like they spend a lot more money doing what they're doing I don't know I try and 
build simple and try and get what I can out of it. I've never personally windowed a block or anything crazy like that. I can't think of. I don't think I've ever even exploded a motor. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I just build with what I can. I don't know. Random things. I buy a lot of random motors for $20 off Craigslist here and there. and um, That's one of the best things. You find, you know, people get these motors and they don't they don't know what's wrong I mean I just picked up a I just picked up a little GX 160 for a hundred bucks the other day and I put a new carburetor on this thing well not even a new carburetor just a spare carb I had laying around put a new carb on this thing started up second pole I mean I didn't even I didn't do anything but change the oil on it and put new gas in it and it started right up this thing's made out of just it's a seriously a scrap motor I mean it I don't know I can't even remember what crank I put in there I know it's a clone crank with I believe a Harbor Freight stock rod um, with the clone piston or a Harbor Freight piston and then I just literally took a random clone head that I had off a old LCT motor and just made everything work and I don't know clearanced everything and it started up second pole and thing runs like a top for what it is and I don't know another 160 block that I just bought just to get the um, I mean I got that thing for nothing I just got the crank out of it and got it for like 20 bucks um, pit bike motor, old, I don't know, Harbor Freight 99cc. And old, old Craftsman down there, that's a pretty sweet little motor. The eager one. I don't know, I'm gonna put that on some little bike someday. Got a, I mean, I got shit everywhere for many bikes. This is a bike that I built for my girl here. Um, this is an old El Tigre mini bike. Front end was smashed on it. We threw a, I don't know what it is, a little super pocket bike front end on there. And the Scat Kitty, it's going to be a restoration project sometime. It's a pretty sweet little bike, pretty happy to have that thing. Then my custom chopper, built that thing over the years, made out of one of those little, it started out with two back wheels on it, those little tiny, I don't know, Harley looking little chopper things, that's what I turned it into. It was trial and error. That thing's fun little bike, stock motor. I don't know. It's fun though. It just it's a cruiser. And then the old Go Devil mini bike. This is one of my favorites. My girl picked this up for me. The whole bike folds up into this little cage here. I'm really happy to have that. That'll be a restoration project sometime. The drag bike. I think I'm saving for next year. I just don't have the funds this year to put the motor that I want to put on it so probably just keep that how it is for now and the go ped love the go ped it's a fun little fun little thing got 30 hours of riding time on that motor there things fun does 50 mile an hour <laughs> it's pretty sweet little rump bike sick toys and rump bike got a video of that on my channel too it's a pretty nice little bike Good times. Yeah. Back out to this, so we'll go back to this, I guess. I don't know. I guess the next thing I'm gonna pull off the side cover here. It's pretty self explanatory, you know, the side cover bolts and I don't know, I'll come back to you after the flywheel I guess or something or during the flywheel maybe.